Welcome back. It's January 7th. Yesterday was National Insurrection Day. I was out here shooting, getting this 25 Primor figured out because I'm going to let my buddy use it in the next match. He is on his way today to come give it a rip tater chip. I'm going to do a little bit of filming on that. I got my uh, 22 DPC out here as well. So we'll get some footage of that. My little project today too. Got three four by four by eights. We'll slap a coat of stain on these. Pick these up from my tank trap. Maybe later this afternoon I can get it assembled up and we'll be using it. We'll see. But that's kind of what's going on today. And thanks for thanks for joining me. I was watching Mark Dice. <laughs> His new video came popped up today about yesterday. It's fucking funny. He's funny. I like his stuff. I bought his book. I follow his channel. If you've never checked him out, <laughs> I'm going to put a link to the, the video. And we're right there. There's a MSNBC reporter crying about it. <laughs> it's a hoop. Yesterday for normal Americans was an ordinary Saturday. But if you're a Democrat politician or a member of the Operation Mockingbird media machine, then it was the third anniversary of the new Pearl Harbor. January 6th. So from now until the end of time, the Democrat Party and their mouthpieces in the media hold a candlelight vigil every year to commemorate the fateful day. The impact what happened on July the 6th had international repercussions beyond what I think any of you can fully understand. That's not a deep fake, by the way. That is the seated president of the United States. Actually, technically last year on the second anniversary on January 6th, and he still couldn't get the date right. Officer Fanon, I'm going to try to get through this. Um, thank you for what you did three years ago today. Um, please tell me your thoughts um, on this third anniversary. He's a funny guy. Which I guess is a fairly common occurrence amongst the cable news crowd. Here's Rachel Maddow breaking down after learning about Donald Trump's immigration plan. Providers, just, I think I'm going to have to hand this off. <laughs> Thank you very much. And remember when Hillary Clinton read her planned acceptance speech for the 2016 presidential election years later publicly? Brace yourselves because the cringe here is off the charts. Here's the best part. Your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. What else is new for 2024? Oh, Wayne LaPierre is done at the NRA. See you later, pal. Worthless, in my opinion. I stopped giving money to the NRA long ago. I'm not paying for your fucking lavish vacations or your seven-figure salary. Not anymore. That organization has gone the wrong way, unfortunately, in, in some respects. And when I give money to something, it's the gun owners of America, uh, Fire, Firearms Policy Coalition, um, so on and so forth. So I encourage you, if you're wanting to give some money to a pro 2A organization, check these organizations out. They're the ones in the trenches suing the government fighting for your rights. All right, we are out here with the Hoosier Hunter, Josh Wells. What's up guys? Out here collecting some load data, some ballistics for, uh, what do we got shooting? Two weeks? Two weeks. Butlerville? Yes, sir. Trying out the new Garmin Zero C1. Ooh. Chrono. Ah. Oh. Looky there. Yeah, that's the cat's meow. Let's see how this does. We both got these things, and we're both trying to figure them out. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah. I had this last year and I took it to a match and got it about a week before the match. There's no directions for this, by the way. When you open up the box, there's a quick guide. And so I got on the old YouTube and got on the Kestrel channel and tried to figure this out. So by the time I got to the match, it was off and I defaulted to the old Hornady app on the phone. <laughs> I haven't touched it since. <laughs> So it's about time to, to cowboy up. Got a target at 215-ish, 216. His calls for 0.4 in elevation. And I think the plate rack with my crappy range finder said 406. I think it's a little farther than that, but 
I can't prove otherwise. Well, I just got back home from shooting at the Freedom Farm with my friend Josh, the Hoosier Hunter. Had an odd thing happen shooting that 25 Creedmoor. And I, I remembered where I'm, I'm about 460 where we were. And I got my little crappy Bushnell uh, rangefinder. It said 406. I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't seem right. But we dialed it up on the scope for 406. Shot it just fine. Moved over to a barricade. Shooting real low. I'm like, man, this doesn't seem right. Went back to the table, dialed up a whole mill, and uh, was back on target. So we didn't change a thing, <laughs> except the scope. It was on at, I think it was 1.8, and it was on at 2.8. Weird things happen sometimes. I guess the wind uh, from one point to the next when we shot was different. I don't know. Really, really couldn't tell you. Yeah, I'll let her rip. 406 is what. That rangefinder has been sitting in the side by side for three years, says. If I recall, I think it's 1.8. This says 1.58. 1.58? Mm-hmm. That's what the Hornady app says. And I dialed 1.7 it was still low. Yeah, I remember it at 1.8. I'm just going to hold it straight up. I clicked up to 1.8 here. Thank you. Yeah. 7 o'clock. A bit low. Yeah. I'll try one nine on it. Right on top of it. Same spot. I'm gonna go uh, to the gong to the left of that, the smaller one. Yeah. Hold, I'm gonna hold just a tad bit of wind here. Drilled it. Yep. <laughs> Good. Left to center a little bit. Yep. I'm gonna go. I think I got five in here. I'm gonna go. Let him rip. Yep. Nailed it. That was solid. Yeah. Let's try to hit the left white stripe on the coyote. All right. Yeah. Got it. Dead center. Dead coyote. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it is. One more. Same spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this fucker shoots, man. <laughs> it's flat, man. <laughs> I was wanting to deer hunt with that Good this shit. year. Just sit on the Good back shit. of a field. Try to, yeah, try to nail something at 500 yards. Recoils so much better than the 308. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> try it with your deal. We'll put that sled on. I want to try it with that. Oh, yeah. Get your honest thoughts on it. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Got it. Good pup. I'm making another version of it. This one, this one articulates. Yeah, flip this ass. up or That's down. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool as hell. I was hoping to have a comparison. Oh, three out of five without and five for five with. But <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen, Josh. <laughs> Sorry, man. What'd you think of it though? It's awesome. I mean, it's steady wise. Holding on target was way better. And because working I was, the bolt, it I, doesn't wiggle around as much. I know. Like that. And I switched to this, I think. Uh huh. And that was way better. Is that how you were doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Thumb through and then just yeah. kind of torquing it down. I think I need to. I think I would like that. But yeah, running the bolt and spotting impacts so much sturdier. You can stay on target. Yeah, exactly. And the half of the game is staying, staying in the on scope. Target. Yeah. Do that. No wind now. Uh huh. You good? Yeah. <laughs> I saw the trace on that. It's low. So low. Going 2.4. 
so riddle me this batman we were on the table shooting this it was one eight at the target we go over there and it's a low and it was hitting when we we're on the the bench low over there so we've dialed it up to two eight i bring it back to the bench and it's on i don't know on that one tell me what you're shooting here uh this is a cz 457 22 long rifle factory uh action barreled action mdt xrs stock vortex strike eagle scope shot a couple prs 22 prs matches with it last year yeah pretty, pretty fun little outfit how many inch barrel is that 16 yeah yeah go for the 220 target yep it'll feel weird after shooting that 25 very much so yeah got it <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome what ammo are you using this is a norma attack 22 <laughs> so what are you dialed to? This is an 8.5. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Here we go. <laughs> 10 <laughs> Yeah, I could get into this. That's awesome. Get this cramp to go away. <laughs> <laughs> I was bitching about something aching the other day. Dad was like, how old are you? I was like 49. He goes, oh, it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> My dad says the same shit. <laughs> you got good data on this bad boy? Enough. I think it's two mil at the back rack. Let's see what this does. Yeah. Clocked it. Yep. Yeah. Maybe up. go. I'm gonna go two. Yeah. Hold a little bit more wind. Yeah. That scope isn't zeroed out very well. I did. 29 12. Dang. 29 11. Under. Damn. 28 70. the average on those does it give you yeah let me see 2891 2891 yeah it's yeah. dead center yeah it does that was 2929 damn strike again go two two and hold wind Smooth shooter. Cobble. <laughs> yes, so you're like, oh, out again. Right. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Got it. There it is. So I dialed up one more and I dialed right one. Oh, three o'clock on that plate. Nailed it. Yeah, right underneath the left. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, same, it's right on top of same that. Same spot. Other one. Yeah. I'm holding three o'clock on the plate. Yeah. Same spot? Yeah. Nice. Hell of a group. Yeah, it is. It's three o'clock on the plate. What's your elevation there? Two, three, two, two? Two, three. Yeah. Which, I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even be know. Like, uh, nah. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> now there's a way to adjust your kestrel yes. to how you're yeah. gun shooting. I'm not going to fuck with it here, but well, I'm going to do that at home. Way over my head. <laughs>
I'm like, oh, that's cool. Uh. <laughs> Had my first shout out. Thank you, Texas Trapping and Hunting. He uh, gave me a plug on his channel. He's doing a video. I'll include a little clip of that in there. An MTU Contour Barrel from Desert Precision Gunworks, chambered in 6mm arc. And I've seen uh, just a dude showcase some of Kenny's work and his rifles and barrels, so I figured I'd share what I'm doing with one of Kenny's barrels and my load development. Thanks again to Kenny from Desert Precision Gunworks for making this barrel that's hammering. And thanks to Just a Dude for posting some of his load data and testing to help get me started. Appreciate it, guys. Pretty cool to get a shout out. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking it out. As always, stay free. Till next time. That's all, folks.